like literally for the past week my life has just become waking up cleaning bathing cooking and filming like every day i'm trying to get as much content out as i can for you guys because you guys have been super amazing you have been supporting me so much over the past week i literally gained over 100 subscribers in like three days and that's amazing so i really want to give you as much content as i can and thank you guys for your continued support hey guys welcome or welcome back it's your girl forever mrs m thank you very much for tuning in to another fun video i really hope you stay if you're new and thank you very much for coming back if you're a returning subscriber uh don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell down below and let's get into this fun q a uh video i guess people want an update on my life and what's been going on so i did post and ask me anything and a few people responded and i really liked some of the questions so that's what we're going to get into so let's get into it guys okay so uh i just have the questions on my phone here on instagram like these are all the questions that i got i don't know if that's clear so that's what i'm just going to go through so the first question says did you think you'd get married in 2020 i actually thought i'd get married in 2019 guys like no cap i actually thought i'd get married in 20 no actually yes i i thought i'd get married before the end of 2019 but uh that wasn't the case due to reasons beyond my control and also because i wasn't stable i didn't have a job and things like that so and you know like the whole order process takes a long time like to get through through visitations of anatete and like each other's in-laws so that takes a bit of a while so i was underprepared and i didn't have enough knowledge when it came to that topic but i'm glad i got married and i'm very happy so the next question says uh looking back it says looking back 10 years ago are you where you thought you would be head are you where you thought you would be or heading in that direction yo 10 years ago i was literally 15 i was in form 3 i just wanted to do an accounting degree and finish i always knew from a very young age that i wanted to be an accountant i told this to my grandparents a long time ago when i was younger so i think in terms of uh, the degree and school wise i have achieved what i wanted to achieve but in terms of general life direction i, I thought i'll be married by 21 i was married at 24 um what else happened uh yeah i think that's that's basically so i do think i'm going in in the right direction with a few extras like having a youtube channel and having you guys to just vent to when i'm having a bad day so um that that the next question is how long does it take me to do a full face beat okay so with face beats there's uh, differences there's the natural glam the full glam like with eyeshadow and everything so if i'm just doing a natural glam i think it takes me about uh 15 to 20 minutes but if i'm doing all the extras like with the extra eyeshadow it takes about an hour but if i'm filming for youtube obviously it will take obviously longer than that so usually an hour 30 to two hours because you have to set up stop edit not edit set up stop do this take more things sometimes you forget things and things and you have to move around your makeup station to get the right lighting and everything so that's what happens when i'm doing a face beat now the next question is very interesting it says that um would you say you have a female best friend and who is she i actually had someone who i thought was my female best friend but i guess the friendship was one-sided the friendship became toxic i kind of like let that person go it's something that i do think about sometimes because i consider that person like my sister but they really hurt me by some of the things that they did and they shall not be discussed because i'm not about uh outing people or i'm not about bashing people because probably i did some things to her as well that she didn't like or that hurt her as well so i'm not going to talk about that but i really did have a someone who i thought was like my sister but they let me down a couple of times i kept forgiving them and kept intending to move on but things just didn't change and things got more toxic recently so i just 
decided to let that person go so as of right now i don't have a female best friend i have someone i'm close to a lady but obviously i don't i don't think we're at the best friend level yet but we're getting to know each other it's like like why am i saying getting to know each other like i'm talking about a relationship but then yeah basically we're getting to know each other and we're becoming really close i think i can trust her and i think she can i know she can trust me with anything so the next question is um you're beautiful thank you <laughs> have you ever faced any discrimination at work or conflict and how did you deal with that okay so like in my last video i mentioned that i i'm no longer going to work i quit my nine to five job and i i i mentioned every reason why i left but have i did i ever face any work conflict yes a lot of times i think women just working with women it's like we just put pressure on each other and if you have a female boss more often than not you're going to have challenges because I don't know there's a lot of things that goes I, I think women we get affected by so many things like we look at the status of you or someone who's below you and like lifestyle and things like that and like people just get bothered by the pettiest of things so sometimes having like women work together is very difficult sometimes like you know like how people say you have to learn your your bosses and your and then like when you're in the work environment you have to learn what they want and just put yourself below them and just do what they want because you want to get the information like i was on a graduate trainee program so i wanted to get the knowledge about the job so i would just have to humble myself even if i didn't agree with many things my bosses said i didn't agree but then because i wanted the education i had to do what was best so the next question says how did you know that hubby was the one Okay, guys, Magambo Penyero, like literally, Magambo Penyero. Like when I saw this dude, when I saw my husband, like the first day, guys, I think I spoke about this in the other get to know me tag that I once did, the first one I did. Guys, I just like, ah, I just walked. I remember literally what he was wearing when we met. He was wearing like, um, uh navy blue jeans these uh brown boots and this leather jacket and a, a checkered shirt inside that was red and blue and he still actually has that shirt guys guys i just walked in the room like this was like orientation week in varsity i walked in the room and then i just saw this dude like nice cut everything was looking handsome i was just like oh my god like this dude looks so handsome but how did i know he was the one i knew he was the one because it was very easy like when we got to when we we're getting to know each other i opened up about some of the things that i thought that if i told a spouse or a boyfriend boyfriend then if i told my boyfriend they'll probably be like i don't want to date any this girl anymore but he was really patient with me i think i spoke about this in the video i'll tag it uh i don't know how to tag so i'm going to have to learn how to tag i'll have to tag my video somewhere up here or put it in the description box i have to do better and the next question is what is my favorite item in my wardrobe right now i'm so into dresses guys because it's so hot like we're in the summer and so i'm i'm into dresses i don't have one particular thing that i am really into but I really love shopping and I love clothes and right now I'm just really into dresses and that that the next question is what's my favorite day style like can you tell like braids are my thing guys I always have braids like 97% of the time like braids are the like braids are my life guys they're so convenient so easy like you just wake up and go like and then like now I just do my edges and we're good to go. So braids have always been my favorite hairstyle for a very long time. I think if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you have noticed that in most videos I've had braids. So braids are definitely my favorite hairstyle. And then someone asked that, how is married life? Married life has actually been very enjoyable. Uh, it's almost a year that I've been married and I once did a one month update, marriage update. And then I remember in the comment section, I was having interactions with people and they were telling me that uh, <laughs> I already have information like one month in. But now we've been married for, let me count, because it's a year in March. So back February, that's another month, 
Jan. So it's been 11, no, it's been 10 months. Yes, I've been married for 10 months as of the 14th of January. Uh, it's been amazing so far. Literally, the transition was easy. I just went from a loving family to another loving family. And I've just been really embraced and... I really love enjoying, I really enjoy living with my husband and getting to know each other and getting to know what makes us tick, what makes us have joy. And I'm constantly always happy and he tells me he's happy. So marriage life has been amazing so far. I don't want to speak any negativity into existence by saying that I don't know what may happen, but so far it's been amazing. So the last question that I'm going to answer is how has my social life changed or has my social life changed in any way following my marriage? I think I talk about this a lot in most of my videos that when like marriage will just change you. Even if you don't want to change, marriage just does this to you. It changes you. So obviously, even my social life has changed. Some of the habits I used to have, I don't have those. Some of the people I used to talk to, I don't talk to anymore. Like, And I address this that it's because I'm evolving as a person and evolving. And I did say that marriage does change you. So I still have the same, most of the same friends. But some of them, I just don't talk to them as often. And you find I find that I have more married friends. No, I know not more. I tend to gravitate to married friends because we sort of face the same day to day lives and routines and everything. And I still embrace my single friends because I always tell them embrace your singleness, like I said in my other video again. But uh, it hasn't really changed much. I still go out, I still do the same thing, I still wear the same clothes, I still eat the same stuff, I still shop the same places, and I, I'm still basically myself. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I was asked in this uh, uh, Ask Me Anything video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these few questions. And thank you so much. Don't forget to, like I said at the start of the video, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.